Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. I'm revealing the truth. Do you back Jesse Edo's spirits? I write an open letter to her husband, do you back to Adeni Johnson? It was just recently, in an interview a month ago, that she Edo revealed that she's married to her best friend, do you back to Adeni Johnson? And this was in an interview with Saturday Beats. And in our words that day, to every home there is an understanding. The issue of handling one's career and home is not a general affair. Every family must have a picture of how they want their home to be. I'm glad that I married my best friend, Adeni Johnson, and we understand each other to a very commendable extent. There are several celebrity couples who are doing greatly despite their busy schedules. The likes of Ulu Jacobs and Joke Silva are worthy role models to learn from. The idea of time, self, and resource management continue to sharpen our marital life. We are balancing things appropriately. And just some hours ago, she took to our official social media platform where she wrote an open letter to her husband, who is also a star Yoruba actor. His name is Adeni Johnson. And she shared numerous photos of herself and her husband and wrote, Dear Adeni, it is your birthday today, and I think it's the perfect day to reveal the truth that you're an amazing, unique, incomparable, hardworking, handsome. Funny, strong, incredible, intelligent. I could go on and on forever. These are not just sweet words, but the feelings that you, Oriyomi, invoke in my heart every day. I wish that you also get the best of everything in your life. Through the good and bad times, you continue to be by my side. Loving is always easy. Together we are inseparable. Together we are a team. Together we are just as hot as can. Together, we are just as hot as you can be. I love you, my handsome husband. I'm so grateful for another year to spend with you. All I wish for today is to see you happy and loved. Thank you for all you do. Okwa Shabi. Happy birthday, Arimo. Love you forever. Mr. Grace, happy birthday. Black and handsome man. So today is the birthday of the star you back to Adeni Johnson. And he's being celebrated by his wife and numerous fans on social media platform and we are also joining in to celebrate the star actor adeni johnson happy birthday to him may god bless his new age we do not know his year of birth but then he was born today on february 27th so happy birthday to the star you back to adeni johnson if you want to know more about the star actor we're celebrating his birthday today and whom his wife just wrote an open letter to please stay with us Adeni Jones is a popular Nollywood actor and filmmaker who has featured in over 100 movies. According to some reports, he was born and raised in Lagos State. He grew up in the Ikotu area of Lagos State. He studied mass communication at the Polytechnic of Ibadan, Ibadan Poly, before proceeding to Lagos State University to study history and international relations. He had this big break in the movie industry after featuring in the popular Mnet TV series, Teen Cell. And some of the movies they are switched on over the years include Meet the In-Laws, Blogger's Wife, Full House, Uriola, Magnetic Woman, Afukbina, Etaoku, Pepeye, Ungrateful, Uriola, Playboy, Ugumi, Iso Inueku, and Mirror, just to mention a few of them. He's also an award-winning actor. He won the City People Movie Award for Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yuba category in the year 2018. And today, as he's celebrating his birthday, he specifically stated on his official social media platform that all he wants today for his birthday is prayers. As Ellen mentioned, he's married to the actress and movie producer Shei Ed, and those two feature in each other's project a lot. In a recent interview with City People Magazine, the filmmaker explained that her husband sometimes works on her movie productions and she pays him double. Given the reason for this, Shei noted that she does this because he doesn't just work as an actor. According to her, Azan also helps to supervise things on the movie set and helps as a coordinator, even though a professional is hired on set. And what? I pay him double when I feature him on my productions. That is because when I feature him on my movies, he's not just going to be an actor on my set, but also a coordinator who will be in charge of warfare and basically everything. Though we'll have professionals on set, but he would still assist them. So you can imagine he's doing much, and that requires big payments as well. If I'm paying everybody working for me, he has to be paid too. I think that he's even working more. She has noted that her husband is not a producer yet, that if he becomes one one day, 
Perhaps you can also charge him double to work on his projects. There are many hidden facts about those star actors in their interviews and in an interview with Adeni Johnson a while ago with Yusuf Adebayo, revealed some details about himself. And this was when he was asked exactly when he started acting. He mentioned that he started acting back in secondary school days. But then he joined the industry in the year 2002-2003. So it's been close to 20 years. In his words, there was a guy playing the major role before, but I think he got full of himself. He wasn't going for real or cinema. They needed someone to fill in the gap, and someone from my own class was there and told them about me. I went for the rehearsals, and I was just being me. I was all playful, and I guess they enjoyed the way I interpreted the role, differently from the guy that was just being all too cocky. So a few weeks later, I came back wanting to take the role, but I had won myself into the heart of everybody there, and they loved the fact that I was infusing comedy into it. So I played the role to the point that my principal then was paying me money. Meanwhile, that man happened to be the strictest principal in Alimo Oshu local government at that time. I loved it and wanted to do more. That's how I started. When I started, it was all for fun. It wasn't like it's something I did set out to do. Because I was an art student. And what was in my head then was to study mass communication. And probably become a journalist. Aside that, I wanted to play football. But my parents were like, even if you are going to play football, at least go to school. When I started acting in church, my mom was asking me, where did you find this boldness to face the crowd and say these big words? Because when I'm in the house, I'm very reserved. My head is always calculating what to do next in the next drama. So people from the church started asking my mom to let me study theater arts. It was in the church that I thought of how to build a career by the side with football. But then my leg got broken in football. So I had to come back to acting. I didn't see this coming, but with hard work and praise, we are here today. So this star actor started acting in secondary school, but professionally, close to 20 years ago. He was also asked exactly how fame has affected him. And he said that for him, he still goes where he wants to go to. He does not really put himself out there for people to start expecting too much from him. Although it opens a lot of doors for them, the downsides of fame are more than what it brings. Especially because a lot of their colleagues are you not know, making things easy for them. You know, you buy a car and put it up there, so people think they are rich. That's not the reality. Though they are not poor, but they are not exceptionally rich. This was in an interview with Yusuf Adebayo, as I mentioned. So we've come to the end of this episode where the Yoruba actress Sheyi Edjo spews today and writes an open letter to her husband, the Yoruba actor Adeni Johnson, as he celebrates his birthday. Once again, happy birthday to Adeni Johnson. May God bless his new age.